Hello, everybody, and welcome to another romp around. This time it's days gone, baby. Um, you'll have to forgive me if the quality is not what it has been in past videos. We've been having a, a nightmare of a time uh, trying to record these things. Um, we've been using like screen share via Discord for a lot of games, like when we record like console stuff. Uh, but it turns out when it comes to like you know, e even with that, we had to stream it on, like, Discord at, like, 480p so somebody could watch it. And then we had to do, like, a whole bunch of other stuff. And then when it comes to stuff on PC, uh, it just takes a lot of resources. And once we start streaming it somewhere else, like, t through Discord or something, the capture, the OBS window just cannot keep up. And so this was the only way I could do it. This is going to be pulled from my live stream. I apologize. I've told everybody to refrain from alerts. I, the, the alerts are not on this screen, but if you hear something, forgive me. I, we're going to get better very soon, hopefully. Um, yes. Half Gen's going to start being a little more streamlined uh, because my friend Ross, who's joining me today, uh, is such a great person and has an understanding wife and wants to be closer to their friends. Yep. Which is yep. always it's a good thing. Basically, we put in an offer on a house and it was accepted. So, uh, and it is, I would say, significantly closer to all of our Connecticut friends. So, day trips are no longer a pain, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's at least an hour, like, savings. Yep, yep. Cuts the trip in half, pretty much. Which is incredible. And you know what? I'll drive an hour. I don't give a fuck. I'll drive two hours. Oh. into Like, two hours for a two-way trip, no big deal. Two yeah. hours one way, totally different story. Yeah. Oh, and I have even better news about the house, but I'll save it for the podcast. You have Let's to do it. To the podcast this you have week. to listen to the podcast, which we haven't recorded yet. That's going to be later Indeed. today. So if you're watching oh, this, this is going to be after the podcast is recorded, but maybe before the video version of the podcast? Question All mark? I know is I that know. people coming to watch a video are having a great time right now. Like Hell standing yeah. Standing next to this bike. Just standing next to this bike. We're in days gone. This world will come for you, uh, but right now it's just the rain, just the rain coming yep. for me. Uh, I just killed a horde, and um, we're gonna go ride this bike. Yeah, it's, let's. Um, you know, yippee ki yay. Days Gone originally came out 20... 2019, April 2019. 2019. Yeah. This is the PC version. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the ultra wide, we are still recording an ultra wide. I thought about like for other videos, I'll probably try to remember to go to 16 by nine just for the mm. sake of you guys. But for a lot of PC stuff, um, I'm just going to keep recording an ultra wide because ultra wide's a great resolution. And uh, I'm going to be working on something for that to kind of help enlighten folks about the wonders of ultra wide. Mm. But yeah, so this is this is the PC version. We're running pretty much everything maxed out. You got to see. Hold on, you have to see the graphics options in this game. Like first off, it's just so easy. Like they identify your monitors up here. You get like a current like readout of everything. Oh, yeah. Your average. So all this stuff you can set like your frame limiter, like your interval between new frames and stuff like that, which is crazy. And then you can change all of this stuff in real time and it just it just does it and it's kind of incredible you can That's... change your fov and you can see it all and again in just real time like it's so cool this is one of the best graphics menus i've ever seen in a game mm -hmm. period let alone yeah, it... a console port of a game the fact the fact that it Sony. changes everything in real time is pretty awesome that is incredible. Most games, like Ubisoft tries, but they do like the little window in the corner over here, and they're like, this is what this does and what it'll look like. But Days Gone's just like, no, screw that. We're just going to show you. And it's so good. And again, we're running an ultra wide. As you can see here, we're running at almost 100 frames per second. Um, and this PC is no slouch, but you know what? This game is no slouch. Like, this is a good looking game. Like, this was a good looking game on a PS4 Pro. It was a great running game and looking game on a PS5. And then PC, like, honestly, listen, I I am a, I am kind of a 4K naysayer. Like, I will always prioritize frame rate, but 4K ain't it. Ultra wide, my friends. Track. 
if you're gonna spend the extra frames, ultra wide. I don't care. I just want to know their names. I'm looking forward to your the thing you were teasing about ultra wide because I am I am ignorant about ultra wide and I'm afraid of ultra wide. Nah, don't be afraid of ultra wide. I'm gonna fill up my bike because I have like a two gallon tank and it's not great. Let's just top her off. Yeah. I yeah, like the little so, sloshing sound when you carry that stuff around. Oh, yeah. What so, a little background for the folks. You were a huge fan of Days Gone. When it Platinum did. I just, I yep. just killed a horde. You should not be fighting hordes this early in the game. I said, screw that, and I killed a horde. Like, this game is no joke, and I'm just like, whatever. Oh, he's shooting me. Yes, but I am an avid Days Gone fan. So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp. I shoot the police up. That about right. Kill a few folks, take some shit, just ride out. I don't think I have any ammo for my guns. Bad <laughs> moment of realization when you get on your bike. Copeland sent you. Remember, you have no ammo. Can you, can you road oh, rash? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got some ammo. Here we go. Just lock it on. Ready? Get, yep. Wait for it. Oh. Wait for it. Bow. Bow. My bike. Yep. Um, okay. Prepare for ramming speed. No, C come back. Ow. My guy? Come on back now here. You have no nitrous installed. No, I know. I, I keep hitting it because in the tutorial you do. And then mm -hmm. this camp, like, scraps your bike. Oh. Eh. Oh. Yeah, suck my ass, loser. Oh. Just trials HD off that rock. <laughs> yeah, he did. Come on. Come on. I'm going to kill you. Actually, I'm not going to kill him. I need him alive. I'm going to go through all my bike's fuel. Yep. This guy has a much better bike than I do. It's a real problem. I was going to say, I did not expect the chase to go off this long. I don't know whose bike is more damaged, his or mine. Probably his. His smoke yeah. is black. Ow. Yep. Dude, could you pull over, please? This is the you police. The <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, just that mini explosion. Oh, God. <laughs> Shot man, you know who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. Screw you! You are Copeland's toadies, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Wow, my feelings. My poor drifter heart. Oh wow. Cope, it's done. Uh, Got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Uh, you hear me? Is he alive? Hey, Trevor. Learning like yeah, PC special like promise you how bike mods. Like out. there was the the uh, Death Stranding uh, one on when you played it originally, where you could get like the baby as part of the bike. Oh, I forgot about Who's that. You there? Yeah. This is my bike is my okay. Name. Here we go. Yeah. Let's Hang fix our there, bike. Buddy. Okay. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. All right. Um. So this is so Days Gone has a very big map. Uh, what people don't realize when they load into the game is they see this map and they're like, "Oh wow, like this is a big map." What they don't realize is that down here, I don't know if you can kind of see the white on white mouse down there. There's more stuff. Yeah. So there's a whole other like half of the map that we don't have yet. Um. So this game is kind of huge. Um, everywhere you see like these little red splotches on the map, uh, there are hordes there. Um, and I'm not going to fight them because yes, they're too big for me right now. No. For the sake of the video. Do it for the video. 
Mm, so, I can't. So I don't have an ammo. All about? I can't fight that right now. <laughs> so what Days Gone's all about? You go for the the, the splotch. Later, the homie. Hope the hope the freaks don't get you. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're past I got to cross. Um, can I cross? Let's see. Yeah, I, I can. Oh, fuck, deer. Damn it. Hit the deer God with the it. deacon. No, God damn it, deacon. Yeah, that's a shifty deer. Oh, fuck. Oh. I'm coming for the deer. Sur I'm going for it. Deer. Come on, survive. deer. Come on. Come on now. Yeah, knife. Come on. Go down. I'm coming. You can't lose me. Come on. Come on now. Give me that sweet, sweet meat. I don't like any of this. <laughs> oh, I have ammo. No, come back, deer. Run, deer. Feel no, like wind. stop running. You're almost dead. Stay safe. No. Stay safe. Please. Fly. Fly, you fool. I need it. I need it. I get camp credits. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Got it. Loot it. Good family. Loot it. L lo loot it. Okay, hold on. I got to hold E. There we go. One of the camps can use this. Yeah, see, I'm feeding people, Ross, okay? You might not care. And Deacon may not really care. But I kind of care. Where'd that other one go? He's gone. Cool. So you have, I like... I kind of care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have, like, this little, like, detective vision thing. Your survival vision. It marks, like, items on the map that you can pick up. Oh, cool. I actually need a melee weapon, so I will take that. Fire axe. Um, yeah, so this is just an abandoned camp. Uh, there might be people here later. I don't know. Where's my bike? God damn it. I run back to my bike. Stupid. He's deer. gone. Colin, where's my bike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mass like title. it's... You know, being that Days Gone isn't exactly a new game. Like, it's it's... It's not like it's hard to talk about, but it's like no, having played it all, like I can just go on and on and on about like, oh, and then this happens and this happens and this happens. Um, really, I like I just kind of want to show off like how the PC version looks and runs because like I got to tell you, it's real good. Like this, this is a damn good port. Oh, that is ammo. Let's go. Reload all my guns. Not the crossbow, though. I don't think I had crossbow yeah, it's, bolts. Days Gone's an interesting one. It didn't do super well critically, but I feel like it did well with fans. Uh, there were estimates, I believe, on PlayStation of about 5.5 million copies sold. I checked today. It has still almost like 30,000 concurrent players today on Steam. Like, yeah. people are playing this game. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a, it's a shame that the whole sequel thing went down the way it did. I mean, who knows? You know, maybe this revitalizes a lot of interest in that. Yeah. I hope it yeah, does. Because, like, there's so much, like, potential for this game. Like, storytelling potential. Uh, gameplay potential. I gotta get gas at some point. Yeah, I killed these people. I put, like, put between, like, six and eight hours in on PlayStation. And I liked it when My I played it. Messed but, up. but it's one of those games where once I stopped playing it, I forgot about it. And it's just, it's a mix of, Good. of yeah. I think, zo zombie fatigue and a mix of, I'm not a fan of, like, the biker aesthetic. So it's just kind of a, filled that bingo card for me. Yeah, but. see, like, I when Days Gone was first announced, I was actually into it. Like, I think we, we were watching it together, and I think mm -hmm. I was, like, straight up, like, yo, like, I'm into this. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that doesn't look You're killing each other. Huh? Baby, get off me give you the oh yeah oh yeah he's gone colon we kill children here oh yeah i know i was beating their asses earlier there were a bunch of them they're zombie children it's okay nobody oh. loves them it's like the the dead space children yeah 
Oh, oh fuckers. Without tentacles, blah, blah. thank god. Yeah. Yeah, they're called newts in this game. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, I, I liked the idea of the hordes. Like, I liked the idea of going in and fighting, like, a screen full of freakers and stuff. And that was... The way they first revealed the game was exciting for me, because I was like, yo, like, this looks really cool. And I didn't even care about the biker aesthetic. I didn't care about, like, the weapons and stuff. I just thought that fighting all those enemies on the screen was, like, so cool. And then, like, as they started showing more trailers and they started showing the story, and I was like, oh, my God, like, this game looks like it's going to be really good. Like, I, 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 was, I bought in early, and I was not disappointed. Oh, right, this one. I can't do this one yet. I need Nitro. I spent, like, the first time I played this game, I spent, like, an hour trying to figure out how to get over here. All right, hold on. I gotta... Do you mind? I am recording a video. Do you people mind? Oh, no. Yeah. Apparently they mind. All right. Okay. But, um... There's like a jump you have to make here from that side uh, that's to there. there. And then that's yeah, how you do it with the nitro. But you can't do it without nitro, so I have to come back when I get it. Yeah. So we should um, probably just go to one of the hordes for right now since you've got it. I'm nitro. not going to. Why are we going to go to a horde? I can't do but anything with the you horde. You have to do, do it for the video. I can't. I can't. You platinum this game. You can I, do yeah, it right now. I don't have any ammo. We should get Wait. some ammo and then do it. Are the red? Hordes or are they nests? Oh no, they're nests. Oh, oh that's those aren't nests. Hordes. Okay. Because hordes are marked on the map differently. That's right. Hordes don't get that's right. Okay. The red splotches on the map are nests. Cause the hordes don't get marked on your map till later. You have to beat the game and then they get marked on your map. That's what Ooh. it is. And then I went around and immediately killed all of them. Yeah, of course. As uh, you of do. course, yeah. Yeah. As you... Who wouldn't? Um, yeah. Let's go to this historical marker real quick. Since I'm over here, uh, I got like 50% fuel on my bike. This sucks. Hi, how are ya? The, the weather effects look really good. Yeah. Yeah, they are good. Welcome to the Springfield Tire Fire. Just random fire in the middle of nowhere. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's just look at this thing real quick, I guess. Because this will get something off my map. Wow, amazing. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of busy work on this map. Like there's a bunch of places you can go to and explore. And like when you clear them, you can start fast traveling. Um, fast traveling in this game though, it does progress the in-game time and does cost fuel from your bike. So a lot of times it's worth taking the time because you can get there more efficiently because basically they're just rolling, you know, they're just revving the engine the whole way. And it's just like, slow down. Gas is expensive. Yeah. yeah like, it's... I'm not made of swarmer ears and camp credits. Like, let's slow down here. You got to yeah, do I'm... a lot of coasting. I'm sure the, the simulation also does, like, strictly sticks to the roads and doesn't kind of take any cuts yeah. through anything. Uh, this is one of the camps. This is one of the first camps you interact with. Uh, this is Cope's camp. Uh, this is the jackass who scrapped my bike. What's up, Manny? Mm, fuel's looking a little low. Yeah, I know. 160. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at the look at the visual stuff. Let's see if uh, ever, see if the Death Stranding thing is still there. Uh, let's see if there's like paint. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, Death Stranding. There you go. I can do the Death Stranding stuff, apparently. There's, like, decals. These are the things I unlock. Um, where's my BB? Deer. Um, I wonder if I can do the... The BB. Yeah, yeah so the, you can, uh... like, upgrade your bike. And once you, like, raise trust in the camp, you can get, like, better parts and stuff. Um... Mm -hmm. I want to upgrade the performance specifically. You cannot. Wait, will it just let me take this? Oh. Did you not already buy that? No, I didn't. Oh. But it's great because that's more fuel capacity. Yeah. <laughs> Can't buy nitrous. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. <gasps> 
What? Go back to that jump. They gave it to me for free? <laughs> Going to the jump. Dude, like, why are they giving away this stuff for free? I had to buy that in the in the original playthrough. What the hell? Um, I feel like we should buy the engine. I want to upgrade my bike. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. Yeah, uh, let's get the exhaust. That will wow. decrease uh, the Freaker's ability to hear me, so I'll have to be much closer. I do want more durability on my bike. That is very important. Um, I could probably get that. I need camp level two for that. All right. Okay. Man. Our bike is considerably upgraded now. Yeah. So you get to come over here, and you get to turn in the Freaker ears. Uh, let me just sell all of them. Uh, and so... Oh, she knew. Yeah, is that right? I like that they talk yeah. like this, just casually. Look, I tried to talk right. to Cope, but he's pretty pissed right now, okay? Not at you, well, maybe at you, but man, at the Rippers, you know, they hit us pretty hard, you hear? Yeah, I heard. Thanks for telling me, Jazzy. You know, we go back a ways. You got my back, I got yours. Damn straight. But listen, I gotta keep my head down, okay? Pretend like you're just some drifter. Just until things cool with Copeland. <laughs> yeah, I get it. See, Cut this it. was one of the things that I really liked about Days Gone the first time I played it. Is like, people don't give it credit, but like, these people, like, they treat you What's going on? like a person. Like, he talks to everybody. Even when he's not talking to them, he goes by. Like, this guy, the first time I met him, he's like, what are you doing here? He's just like, you know, shut up. You know, <laughs> just like there's a lot yeah. of that, like that kind of like world building character interaction when you walk by some of these people. And like when, when you talk with them and they're just like, hey, man, you know, I saw them bringing your bike, by the way. Like, I didn't start that conversation. They, that's just part of the game. Like that's part of the, like what makes you around so much. Yeah, see, I didn't think I'd see you around so much, you know, like stuff like that. Like the characters know like, hey, he's coming around a bunch. Um, the way they talk to Deacon and the way the characters talk to each other is like, listen, it's a video game, but it's like really like endearing and it's really like, it, it feels more real than a lot of games that just kind of feel like, you know, characters talking in like a movie or something. It just kind of feels like people just living their lives, you know? And that's yeah. something I always really, really liked about this game. Yeah, uh, I feel that kind of this game are, does so do man. kind of that incidental so dialogue man. really well. Yeah, like it, just, it, it, it feels like it feels natural, unlike when uh, some games try it and it just feels forced. This game yeah, is just know. so like carefully crafted. Like you can tell, you can feel like the passion of the people. I'm, like, I'm not just trying to like needlessly sing this game's praises because I don't need a reason to do that. Play Days Gone. Days Gone is the PlayStation Vita of PS4 exclusives. Um, <laughs> but like, it's just so good. And like, you can feel it. You can feel that the developers thought of that. And they're like, yo, when Deacon shows up, people should notice him. Like Deacon has a history and you don't always know what that history is, but like you kind of learn it over time talking to these people as they get to know you and they kind of like see you around. And as the camp's reputation changes towards you, they'll start like cheering up and they're like, oh, hey, you know, it goes from what are you doing here to like, oh, good to see you again, man. Appreciate what you've been doing for the camp. And Deacon's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just doing it i'm not doing it for anything special you know whatever um yeah it is hard to find fuel but it, it, it's the stuff like that right. that just makes this game feel special you know it, it's it's All a right. lot of like just good like well executed mechanics like it's nothing like crazy this game doesn't do anything that no other game has done before but just everything it does is good you know it just yeah. it just yeah. nails everything it tries to do and it just feels like I, I feel like for well you, it's, it's like the like you look it up, up, you look it up in the dictionary, and you find this game next to greater than the sum of its parts. Oh yeah, hundred percent. This is like the the very definition of that. 
Like, this is just a game that, like, if you take each of its aspects individually, it's just, like, you know, whatever. But when you put them all together and you turn that into Days Gone, excuse me? Did you see that? I missed it. That thing just, like, yelled at me and then keeled over. This thing right here, it just breath. it just screamed at me and died. <laughs> What the fuck? That was a days gone hater. Yeah, so know. yeah, we just fully upgraded our bike too, by the way. Like that is not nothing. How much better does it feel to drive? Well, it's not even just like the difference in drive. It does feel better though, because these tires give me better traction. Um, yeah. But it's more than anything, it's the fuel. Oh, oh yeah. All right, hold on. Don't die. Don't die I in won't. a romp. No, we haven't died yet in a romp. Right? No, we haven't. Uh, no, because you beat Loop Hero. You beat that Loop, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, I didn't even that think about one. that. Oh, my God. Holy shit. We're undefeated in Ross. Let's go. Undefeated. Uh, as long as yeah, you like, don't do it, a romp it, a If you are, like, sleeping on Days Gone, or if you're like, yeah, I don't know. I've heard mixed things, like... Buy it when it's on sale. Like, it's on Steam now. There's Steam sales all the time. Like, the game starts at 50 bucks. It comes with everything. Like, give it a shot. What have you really got to lose? Steam has a refund policy after two hours. I'll tell you that, the you know, there is a buildup for Days Gone. It takes a couple upgrades. And honestly, they fixed that. Because just ha being able to equip the things that it let me get for free makes the early hours of this game, like... A completely different scenario. Like, it, it goes from, like, constantly having to manage your fuel and things like that to being like, oh, okay, I can actually just kind of, like, let her rip a little bit, you know? I don't feel as bad about just using stuff now because I can just go and, you know, I, I now have a little extra fuel or, you know, a little extra handling or something, you know, a little extra durability on my bike. That is a huge difference. Like, you have no idea how important these upgrades are, uh, especially this early in the game. Like... That is quality of life. I gotta, oh, uh, I guess I should also show, hold on. So you got like your skills page here so you can like unlock. Oh, I have a skill point, cool. Um, and you have the, the three trees of survival range and melee you can upgrade. Yeah, I think survival is really important early uh, for this upgrade right here, reduces the cooldown on stamina recovery. Uh, and outlines enemies and survive this whole tier right here. All three of these are super important. Um, also this, this is incredible. Once you get this, you don't have to worry about your bike as much because it takes half the scrap to fix it. Um, this is also like this whole tree. Really? I would prioritize this tree because if you're, if you're prioritizing the survival tree in a lot of cases, you're making it easier to play stealth, which is free because then you're just finishing enemies. Um, do I have like anywhere else I can hit real quick? Um, I guess it's really just the great, you know what? Let's head up. We're just going to head up there. Why not? We're going on a road jump? trip. Oh shit. You should do the boost jump. Yeah. It's right there. Pardon me folks. So remember we got to like, go. we got to feather the gas. What the hell was that? Somebody just launch a flare? What the fuck was that? I love it the skybox in this game. Yeah. Damn fine it's sky good skybox. Box. So you gotta be careful, like on the main roads especially, cause like there'll be like marauders who will set up like traps for you and stuff. So like mm -hmm. they'll put like wire across the road. I heard it again. What the hell is that? I fucked up. That, my friend, was incorrect. <laughs> it's fine. It's, uh, we have now died on a romp. <laughs> the streak is broken. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, just don't talk about it. <laughs> just don't think about it. Yeah.
Pardon me. Thanks, Todd. Habercorn. Wait, did it keep my upgrade? I don't remember now if it just, like, loads me back. No, it did. Wait, no, it didn't. Shit. That is a hard load. That's Does that mean you don't have your bike upgrades either? No, because based on where my bike was, it's saved after my upgrades. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, because the nitrous is right there, that yellow tank. Oh, yeah. Yep. Let me grab these, because now we got the double gathering. So this stuff is really good because you sell this to camps and you get camp credits. So there's no money in this game. Um, everything is camp credit. So the camp is just like, hey, you do work for us. Oh, there's quick save at the bottom. Um, you do work for us and we'll give you credits in the camp, which you use to buy fuel and ammo and guns and things like that. Late game, you get some real incredible weapons. Pardon me. Which, oh, fuck it. Son of a bitch! So that was the jump. And yep. I didn't realize it was taking me on to it. <laughs> until I was on it. Alright, let's try this again. Come on! Yeah, baby! <laughs> we go. did it. How messed up. Oh, that's not too bad! The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Copeland. Xenophobe and fanatic patriot. Cope, but hey, whatever you say. I love how he responds and to these. Along with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. Like, he always has something to say, and I know a lot of people aren't crazy about that, but, like, I am. Time to roid up real quick. Always, always, always put it into stamina. You can never have enough stamina. Yeah, that's the stuff. And we got... Recorders. Hey, you see the roster for next week? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, they got our team scheduled for pickups at Dead Coyote. Nice shit. Going, yeah. Really? Is that? It's not on our route. I don't know, man. I check with the CEO. That's what's on the books. Damn it. It's not part of my route. Yeah, no kidding. Me neither. Whatever. I know you guys around all the time. I've got a specific set of stops I have to make. I've got time sensitive tests I'm doing. Traps that have to be checked. Hey, tell it to the CEO. I don't make the schedule and I don't pick the rotations. Yeah, but I do. Thanks for telling me. Sure thing. No problem. Yeah, well, I guess you don't have to worry about your duty roster anymore. Do you? <sighs> yeah, see, he just always like says something. But yeah, like that's most of the game's world building is that it's. <laughs> Oh, that's convenient. Um, it's stuff like, you know, listening to the recordings or Radio Free Oregon and things like that of just kind of learning the world and, like, what the people are thinking in it. And then sometimes the Freakers and the Wolves get in a fight and then I get to come in and reap the benefits. Yeah. Cool. Oh. It's okay. They weren't using it anymore. It's time to be sneaky. Hell yeah. 
take their ears. All right, we're good. All right, but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much day is gone. Like any anything like we could take a ride up there, but then we're gonna be on this one for it'll be a little while. So yeah, that's a good stopping point. Go play Days Gone and figure out what's at that uh, graveyard there or whatever. I think that's the graveyard. I think that's where I'm going. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. So it's a graveyard. Go find out uh, what's going on up there. Play Days Gone. It's real good. I think you'll like it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us for another romp. We'll have another one for you soon. And uh, we'll catch you then. Take it easy. Later.